What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for awesomemode.com, back with the process for Thursday. Today's Thursday, right? Yeah, Thursday, June 9th. June 9th, the nicest day of them all. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. You can see that underneath my face. And shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video series. Awesomeo is the promo code. Get a hundred up to a hundred dollar match deposit bonus. Can't beat you put a hundred in, they match it with a hundred. We've got the free prize picks player prop tool on awesomeo.com. It will help you out tremendously in building out your parlay cards. That's what they are, really. You're not worried about optimizers, you're you're not worried about competing with other people, you're competing with yourself. You just gotta beat an over under. Use that promo code awesome, get the free money while you do it. Let's start here at the top. Good day in the NBA yesterday. Um, you can see some of it on the screen right now, but uh, more than doubled up uh, balance right now in the DK account. So we, we did $99 worth of contest yesterday up to two thirty seven eighty five. So our first winning day, we're going to take a look quickly at everything that we had here. And uh, first things first right here. I've got myself, Adam, the boss man, the other boss man, Tom, and Rin Pack in here. Adam beats me out on total profit. Got a couple more above the cash line. Had the highest finish, though. Got to 88th in the four-point play. That is a 1% lineup. Yay, life on this one. But very profitable. Close to a double up. So that is going to be what we wanted here. Biggest problem, we'll show it later. I didn't have a ton of him. You can see Adam had 100% Gary Payton. Unfortunately, that probably did him in to get all the way to the top. It, it was my undoing as well for my best lineup, and that's what kind of stinks. Alex had him. Tom had him. I was actually light on Payton. I did have a little bit more. I believe I had him in the captain spot a little bit. Yeah, I had a, uh, two lineups in the captain spot. I had a ton of Robert Williams in the captain spot. Only person out of our group to do that. I had 30% there. That went quite well. Uh, he was one of, I can show it quickly, the five most optimal lineups yesterday on DK after the fact had five separate captains. Clay, Smart, Brown, Wiggins, and then Robert Williams. But if you ran 50 lineups, most frequent captain was Robert Williams. So I feel really good about where my exposures were yesterday, except for the fact, here's where it killed me. Adam had no Draymond at all. I had a ton of Draymond. Uh, Alex and Tom were both a bit over the field. Rinpack a little bit lighter, but Draymond ended up being my undoing, unfortunately. Uh, that just didn't get it done, which is kind of a bummer. We were all quite light on Steph. That worked out pretty well for myself, for Adam, and for Alex because we were heavier on Tatum. And because there weren't any super duper pay down options, it was always going to be hard to get both of them. Jalen Brown also outscoring Steph made it basically impossible for him to get into a lineup. So having 80% Tatum, having 85% Jalen Brown couldn't be happier with the way that this all played out. But Peyton was a problem. And then Draymond, probably the biggest other problem for me. But let's just take a quick look here. Uh, we had two separate people get 10 of their 20 lineups into the top 1%. Kudos there. Giant chop at that 20% mark. So it gets up to 620 people. Uh, Adam got three into the top 1%, 112, 221, and 354. I got two. So uh, I'm very happy with that. To get two into the top 1% is a great outcome. We got to 88th. Uh, I could show that lineup quickly. And here's the problem for me. Gary Payton was my undoing, but Tatum, Captain, Brown, Thompson, Smart, Bob Williams, and uh, Gary Payton. That was the problem. But if we look at the second lineup to make it into the top 1%, also Gary Payton. So I didn't have a ton of them in this contest, but they were the two lineups that got to the top. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to get there. But yeah, two one percenters in the four-point play ended up being exactly what we needed. Terrible lineup choice here. 236 dupes. I should not have done that. As you can see, didn't play 50K. Um, but that's not the only success that we had. We got to talk a lot about it. Now, this one, not successful. Check this out. 4,756 entries into the 20K high five. 
finished 41-52. This is uh, one of the worst lineups that were in here. Derek White, captain lineup, didn't work. Draymond, awful. Peyton, awful. This lineup just absolutely stunk. Certainly not a one percenter. But if we look at the other high five, the cheaper high five, we got all the way to 21st. Top 1% lineup. You needed to be in the top 36. We got to 21st. It was actually duped. Um, what's really crazy is we have the same score. So three people finished with 238, 38. One of those lineups was actually unique. So it's crazy that we had a chop. We, we ended up chopped at the end, but it wasn't the same lineup. So we got another one percenter here. Outstanding finish. Clay at the captain spot. But again, the best lineup that we had going into the 1% ends up getting bit by the Gary Payton bug. Just truly, truly unfortunate. We got in that look. So like, let, think about it like this. Yesterday, in this particular contest, the average 1% lineup would be 155 bucks. Now you basically need to be first for that. But 155 bucks would have been up here in that like seven, eight range. You know, we're, we're, we're close here. 145 to finish eighth. That's where we were. So we underperformed the average 1% lineup by 100 bucks there. That's kind of a bummer. We put two in the one top 1% in the four point play. Those were supposed to be 163 a piece, both well lower than that. So we had unfortunate 1% lineups, but still good to see. We're not done yet, though. Into the three max, the uh, the hot shot, we did it again. Got to 50th. That is in the top 1%. Only duped three times here. If I scroll down, we can see it. But we got into the top 1% again. Couldn't be happier with the performance last night. But look at this. Tatum, Horford, Brown, Clay, Robert Williams, and Gary Payton. Again, another lineup making it into the top 1% that gets snake bit by Gary Payton. Tough beat yesterday. A couple more fantasy points. This thing climbs. That is the difference between cashing in a, 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 like a much bigger 1%er. Because again, we cracked the 1% here, made $22, but... In this contest yesterday, in the hot shot, $104 is the average for the one percenters. We didn't get any of them to jump to the tippy top, cross that average threshold. We didn't chop any of the main prizes. An unlucky day as far as I'm concerned, but still. Business moving forward. First majorly profitable day. It's the kind of thing that we're looking for here. I could not be happier with what we've got going on. So... That's step one. Step two, baseball slate today. <sighs> awful. Truly awful. Look at this. Look at this right now. So this is the early slate, if you want it. You get the good relay throw at the top. Prize pools fall off a cliff. You want to go to the main slate, the five gamer for baseball tonight? Look at this. 175K in the main relay throw. It's a great contest, by the way. I have it loaded up. We'll see it. But falls off a cliff. 30K, 25, 15, 10. You're already into... <clears throat> Four-digit prize pools. Where are prize pools at today, DraftKings? Come on. Come on. Come on. So here's where we're at. I loaded everything up. Obviously, if you're able to max the relay throw, 2250 to get into it, you should be doing it. You should be doing that. Unfortunately, that's a lot of money and certainly more than the $100 we'll be playing today. We're actually going to end up playing a little bit less than $100. Um, we're clearly getting into the four-seamer. It's the second best contest, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and highlight that bad boy. You're getting 36.8. It's uh, a little bit worse than it was two days ago. It's a little tiny, tiny bit better than it was the first day that we did this. But we're getting back into the four-seamer. Again, top 1% lineup, $147. That is going to be what we're looking for. We're also going to get into the single entry contest right here. It's going to be the base hit. 12 bucks to get in. If we hop back over here, you can see it. Single entry, 15K prize pool, 1,500 up top, 1,000 to second. Should be a pretty good contest, 1,470. So we're looking to get into the top 15 if we can. That's going to put us at $92. But I don't really love the payout structure of any other contest. We're either going way down the line where stuff isn't all that interesting or, you know, you got to get into this $25 single entry skipper, which I don't really love the payout anyway. I also looked at two of the contests on Yahoo. And I'd like to point these out just for a second. Now, obviously, we cannot max 
the Thursday night baseball on Yahoo. I would like to if we can, but that's still below or quite a bit above. It's 22 entries. It's 330 to max it. That's not going to work, but that payout structure is pretty good. You get very close to the base hit. You're a little bit behind the four seamer, but look at the big difference here in the rate column or management fee if you're playing at Yahoo. Just 12%. So you're saving 3.9% on your money by playing in this one. That makes up quite a bit for the slightly uh, flatter payout structure. It's still a fantastic contest to get into. The other contest that's out there is the Grand Slam, even smaller. Now, this, technically speaking, we like we could have snuck this one in if we didn't want to play the four-seamer, but all, all, just under 11% rake here. Uh, but the it, it's an incredibly flat payout structure. I don't love that one all that much, but the reduced rake certainly helps. Ultimately, today is not a day for Yahoo. It appears we're going to be on DK. And again, at some point in time, we will get to FanDuel. But for now... Let's go ahead and reserve our entries into the four-seamer and into the base hit. We're only going to be playing $92 today. For some reason, I am now not logged in. So I'm going to pull this over here so you crazy cats don't see any part of a password because I love you guys, but I don't love you that much. Let's get logged in. You never know what's going to show up on a screen. I don't need you freezing it and stealing my soul and my kidneys. All right, let's get a dummy lineup Locked and loaded. I will be on the deeper dive tonight from five o'clock to six o'clock. So tune in there. You can get all of my thoughts on what I actually like, what, I, what I'm expecting to be playing as we get closer to lock. Uh, uh, unrelated to baseball for tonight. I hope anybody that uh, was aware of it, we did a live show on playback last night. If you didn't see it, uh, make sure you're following Osimo Twitter accounts. Make sure you're following myself or Laffy. We streamed the entire game three of the finals, and it's not what you guys think it is if you're not familiar with it. You authenticate with your cable company, and the game is on. The whole game, the commentary, everything is on the screen. It just overlays uh, Laffy and myself as well, just like our shows. So we're chopping it up. We're hanging out. Chat is live. We're all synced up at the exact same time. It was an incredible experience. I'm so happy that we're able to work with playback for this one. Uh, it, it was just a flawless experience, a great way to watch the game. We're coming back for game four. We're coming back for game five. If we're lucky, we come back for six and seven. If we come back for game seven, uh, we're gonna do, La Laffy and I are gonna do it live together at his house. So that would be fantastic, but Make sure you're checking it out. Keep an eye, keep your eyes peeled to uh, my Twitter account because I'll be tweeting out those links. All right, let's get. Let's see, where is it? Uh, tournaments. There we go. Where is this contest? Oh, too, too big a contest. See this? Pri these prize pools are killing me today. So we get 19 more entries into the four seamer. We got our one single entry into the base hit. So we're playing 21 lineups today, all the way up to 92 dollars. We submit those bad boys. I wish that I was had another place to put, like, like, should I get in one of these contests? Probably. It's just really not, it's it's not exciting. That's There's no other way to say it. I'm not just going to search for eight bucks. Today's just not that day. So that's where we are. We are registered, not adding any more money for right now. We're already over $100, even if we go 0 for today, 0 for 21, not a single cash lineup. We're still playing with house money at least a little bit uh, based off of yesterday. So we're going to continue to try to build that if we can. But that is where we stand for today. Tomorrow, going to be an NBA video. I'll take a look at the DraftKings contest again. Probably take a look at the Yahoo contest as well as I slowly but surely get built out a little bit more. If you guys have any questions, please drop them into the comment section of this video or feel free to tweet at me. We're going to do more and more. With this video series, we'll take a look at as we get to probably next week when once or maybe like once uh, NBA season finally ends, we'll start to take a look at how you want to structure the lineups that you're putting into these contests. Because a lineup into the Minimax with 30,000 entries is very different than a lineup into the base hit with 1,500. You can get away... Ownership is very, the relationship to ownership is very different in those two size contests. And I want to start thinking about, this is going to be another part of this show. 
I want to start thinking about what kind of lineups, how how far away, how off the beaten path you need to go to try to win a, a mini max in comparison to trying to win the base hit. And that's going to be something we'll talk about in the future. But for now, thank you to Prize Picks. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, notification bell. Everything is good. Thank you guys. Process is done. Great day. The nicest day of them all. I'll see you guys tomorrow.